The apicomplexa, also called apicomplexia, are a large phylum of parasitic alveolates. Most of them possess a unique form of organelle that comprises a type of plastid called an apicoplast, and an apical complex structure. The organelle is an adaptation that the apicomplexin applies in penetration of a host cell. The apicomplexa are unicellular and spore-forming. All species are obligate endoparasites of animals, except Nephromyces, a symbiont in marine animals, originally classified as a chytrid fungus. Modal structures such as flagella or pseudopods are present only in certain gamete stages. The apicomplexa are a diverse group that includes organisms such as the Cochidea, Gregorions, Peroplasms, Hemogregarines, and Plasmodia. Diseases caused by apicomplexa include Babesiosis, Babesia, Malaria, Plasmodium, Cryptosporidiosis, Cryptosporidium parvum, Cyclosporiasis, Cyclospora cadenensis, Isosporiasis, Isospora belly, Toxoplasmosis, Toxoplasma gondii. The name of the taxon Apicomplexa derives from two Latin words. Apex top, and complexus infolds, and refers to a set of organelles in the sporozoite. The apicomplexa comprise the bulk of what used to be called the sporozoa, a group of parasitic protozoans, in general without flagella, cilia, or pseudopods. Most of the apicomplexa are modal, however, by use of a gliding mechanism that uses adhesions and small static myosin motors. The other main lines were the acetosporia, now in rhizaria, the mixozoa, now known to be highly derived cnidarian animals, and the microsporidia, now known to be derived from fungi. Sometimes, the name sporozoa is taken as a synonym for the apicomplexa, or occasionally as a subset. General features All members of this phylum have an infectious stage. The sporozoite which possesses three distinct structures in an apical complex. The apical complex consists of a set of spirally arranged microtubules, the conoid, a secretory body, the roptri, and one or more polar rings. Additional slender electron-dense secretory bodies micronemes, surrounded by one or two polar rings may also be present. This structure gives the phylum its name. A further group of spherical organelles is distributed throughout the cell rather than being localized at the apical complex and are known as the dense granules. These typically have a mean diameter around 0.7 micrometers. Secretion of the dense granule content takes place after parasite invasion and localization within the parasitophorous vacuole and persists for several minutes. Other morphological findings common to all members of this phylum include the nucleus is haploid. Flagella are found only in the modal gamete. These are posteriorly directed and vary in number, usually 1 to 3. Basal bodies are present. Although hemosporidians and peroplasmids have normal triplets of microtubules in their basal bodies, coccidians and gregorions have nine singlets. The mitochondria have tubular cristae. A Golgi apparatus is present. Centrioles, chloroplasts, ejectal organelles, and inclusions are absent. Colorless plastids are present in some species. The cell is surrounded by a pellicle of three membrane layers, the alveolar structure, penetrated by micropores, replication. Mitosis is usually closed, with an intranuclear spindle, in some species, it is open at the poles. Cell division is usually by schizogony. Meiosis occurs in the zygote, mobility. Apicomplexins have a unique gliding capability which enables them to cross through tissues and enter and leave their host cells. This gliding ability is made possible by the use of adhesions and small static myosin motors. Other features common to this phylum are a lack of cilia, sexual reproduction, use of micropores for feeding, and the production of oocysts containing sporozoites as the infective form. 
Most apicomplexins have an apicoplast, a nonphotosynthetic plastid, and mitochondrial and nuclear genomes, although cryptosporidium species and gregorions are possible exceptions, as they are thought to have lost their plastids after the diverging last common ancestor of apicomplexins. General features of the subgroups Within this phylum are three groups Coccidians, Gregorians, and Hemosporidians. The coccidians and gregorions appear to be relatively closely related. Perkinsis, while once considered a member of the apicomplexa, has been moved to a new phylum. Perkinsozoa. Gregorions. The gregorions are generally parasites of annelids, arthropods, and mollusks. They are often found in the guts of their hosts, but may invade the other tissues. In the typical Gregorian life cycle, a trophozoite develops within a host cell into a schizont. This then divides into a number of morozoites by schizogony. The morozoites are released by lysing the host cell, which in turn invade other cells. At some point in the apicomplexin life cycle, gametocytes are formed. These are released by lysis of the host cells, which group together. Each gametocyte forms multiple gametes. The gametes fuse with another to form oocysts. The oocysts leave the host to be taken up by a new host. Coccidians In general, coccidians are parasites of vertebrates. Like gregorions, they are commonly parasites of the epithelial cells of the gut, but may infect other tissues. The coccidian life cycle involves merogony, gametogony, and sporogony. While similar to that of the gregorions it differs in zygote formation. Some trophozoites enlarge and become macrogamed, whereas others divide repeatedly to form microgametes anisogamy. The microgametes are modal and must reach the macrogame to fertilize it. The fertilized macrogamed forms a zygote that in its turn forms an oocyst that is normally released from the body. Syzygy, when it occurs, involves markedly anisogamous gametes. The life cycle is typically haploid, with the only diploid stage occurring in the zygote, which is normally short-lived. The main difference between the coccidians and the gregorions is in the gametes. In the cochidia, these are small, intracellular, and without epimerites or mucrons. In the gregorions, these are large, extracellular, and possess epimerites or mucrons. A second difference between the cochidia and the gregorions also lies in the gametes. In the coccidians, a single gamont becomes a macrogametocyte, whereas in the gregorions, the gametes give rise to multiple gametocytes. Hemosporidia The hemosporidia have more complex life cycles that alternate between an arthropod and a vertebrate host. The trophozoite parasitizes erythrocytes or other tissues in the vertebrate host. Microgametes and macrogametes are always found in the blood. The gametes are taken up by the insect vector during a blood meal. The microgametes migrate within the gut of the insect vector and fuse with the macrogametes. The fertilized macrogame now becomes an oocynete, which penetrates the body of the vector. The oocynete then transforms into an oocyst and divides initially by meiosis and then by mitosis haplontic life cycle to give rise to the sporozoites. The sporozoites escape from the oocyst and migrate within the body of the vector to the salivary glands where they are injected into the new vertebrate host when the insect vector feeds again. Reproduction and life cycle Most members have a complex life cycle, involving both asexual and sexual reproduction. Typically, a host is infected via an active invasion by the parasites, similar to entosis, which divide to produce sporozoites that enter its cells. Eventually, the cells burst, releasing morozoites, which infect new cells. This may occur several times, until gametes are produced, forming gametes that fuse to create new cysts. Many variations occur on this basic pattern, however, and many apicomplexa have more than one host. The apical complex includes vesicles called roptries and micronemes, which open at the anterior of the cell. These secrete enzymes that allow the parasite to enter other cells. The tip is surrounded by a band of microtubules, called the polar ring, and among the conoidocida is also a funnel of tubulin proteins called the conoid. Over the rest of the cell, except for a diminished mouth called the micropore, the membrane is supported by vesicles called alveoli, forming a semi-rigid pellicle. 
The presence of alveoli and other traits place the apicomplexa among a group called the alveolates. Several related flagellates, such as Perkinsis and Calpidella, have structures similar to the polar ring and were formerly included here, but most appear to be closer relatives of the dinoflagellates. They are probably similar to the common ancestor of the two groups. Another similarity is that many apicomplexan cells contain a single plastid, called the apicoplast, surrounded by either three or four membranes. Its functions are thought to include tasks such as lipid and heme biosynthesis, and it appears to be necessary for survival. In general, plastids are considered to have a common origin with the chloroplasts of dinoflagellates, and evidence points to an origin from red algae rather than green. Parasitology and genomics Many of the apicomplexan parasites are important pathogens of human and domestic animals. In contrast to bacterial pathogens, these apicomplexan parasites are eukaryotic and share many metabolic pathways with their animal hosts. This makes therapeutic target development extremely difficult. A drug that harms an apicomplexan parasite is also likely to harm its human host. At present, no effective vaccines are available for most diseases caused by these parasites. Biomedical research on these parasites is challenging because it is often difficult, if not impossible, to maintain live parasite cultures in the laboratory and to genetically manipulate these organisms. In recent years, several of the apicomplexan species have been selected for genome sequencing. The availability of genome sequences provides a new opportunity for scientists to learn more about the evolution and biochemical capacity of these parasites. The predominant source of this genomic information is the UPATH-DB family of websites, which currently provides specialized services for plasmodium species plasmode, coccidians, toxo-DB, peroplasms, peroplasma, and cryptosporidium species, cryptop. One possible target for drugs is the plastid, and in fact existing drugs such as tetracyclines, which are effective against apicomplexins, seem to operate against the plastid. Blood-borne genera Within the apicomplexa are three suborders of parasites Suborder Adeliarina Eight genera Suborder Hemosporina All genera in this suborder Suborder Imeriorina Two genera Lancasterella and Shellachia within the Adeliarina are species that infect invertebrates and others that infect vertebrates. The Imeriorina the largest suborder in this phylum. The life cycle involves both sexual and asexual stages. The asexual stages reproduce by schizogony. The male gametocyte produces a large number of gametes and the zygote gives rise to an oocyst, which is the infective stage. The majority are monoxonous, infect one host only, but a few are heterozonous, life cycle involves two or more hosts. The number of families in this later suborder is debated, with the number of families being between 1 and 20 depending on the authority and the number of genera being between 19 and 25. Evolution All members of this phylum are parasitic and evolved from a free-living ancestor. This lifestyle is presumed to have evolved at the time of the divergence of dinoflagellates and apicomplexans. Further evolution of this phylum has been estimated to have occurred about 800 million years ago. The oldest extant clade is thought to be the Archigregarines. Many coccidiomorpha have an intermediate host, as well as a primary host, and the evolution of hosts proceeded in different ways and at different times in these groups. For some coccidiomorphs, the original host has become the intermediate host, whereas in others it has become the definitive host. In the genera Aggregata, Atoxoplasma, Cystiosispora, Shellachia, and Toxoplasma, the original is now definitive, whereas in Akiba, Babesiosoma, Babesia, Hemagregarina, Hemoproteus, Hepatozoan, Karyolysis, Leucocytozoan, Plasmodium, Sarcocystis, and Thylaria, the original hosts are now intermediate. Similar strategies to increase the likelihood of transmission have evolved in multiple genera. Polyenergid oocysts and tissue cysts are found in representatives of the orders Protococcidioridae and Imerida. Hypnozoites are found in Karyolysis lacerate in most species of Plasmodium. Transovarial transmission of parasites occurs in life cycles of Karyolysis and Babesia. 
Horizontal gene transfer appears to have occurred early on in this phylum's evolution with the transfer of a histone H4 lysine 20 H4K20 modifier, KMT5A, set 8, from an animal host to the ancestor of apicomplexans. A second gene, H3K36 methyltransferase, ASHR3 in plants, may have also be horizontally transferred. Phylogenetic relations this has rarely been studied at the subclass level. The Hemosporidia are related to the Gregorions and the Peroplasms and Coccidians are sister groups. The Hemosporidia and the Peroplasma appear to be sister clades and are more closely related to the Coccidians than to the Gregorions. Transposons appear to be rare in this phylum, but have been identified in the genera Ascagregarina and Imeria. Taxonomy History the first apicomplexa protozoan was seen by Antony van Leeuwenhoek, who in 1674 saw probably oocysts of Imeria stidae in the gall bladder of a rabbit. The first species of the phylum to be described, Gregorina ovata in earwig's intestines, was named by Dufour in 1828. He thought that they were a peculiar group related to the trematodes, at that time included in Burmese. Since then, many more have been identified and named. During 1826 to 1850, 41 species and six genera of Apicomplexa were named. In 1951 to 1975, 1873 new species and 83 new genera were added. The older taxon Sporozoa, included in Protozoa, was created by Lukert in 1879 and adopted by Butchley in 1880. Through history, it grouped with the current Apicomplexa many unrelated groups. For example, Kudo 1954, included in the Sporozoa species of the Acetosporia, Rhizaria, Microsporidia, Fungi, Mixozoa, Animalia, and Helicosporidium, Chlorophyta, while Zirt 1978, included the genus Blastocystis, Stramenopiles. Dermocystidium was also thought to be sporozoan. Not all of these groups had spores, but all were parasitic. However, other parasitic or symbiotic unicellular organisms were included too in protozoan groups outside sporozoa, flagellata, ciliophora and sarcodina, if they had flagella e.g., many kinetoplastida, retortomonidida, diplomonidida, trichomonidida, hypermastigida, cilia e.g., balantidium, or pseudopods e.g., entamoeba, acanthamoeba, nagleria. If they had cell walls, they also could be included in plant kingdom between bacteria or yeasts. Sporozoa is no longer regarded as biologically valid and its use is discouraged, although some authors still use it as a synonym for the apicomplexa. More recently, other groups were excluded from apicomplexa, e.g., Perkinsis and Culpidella, now in Pertalvulata. The field of classifying apicomplexa is in flux and classification has changed throughout the years since it was formally named in 1970. By 1987, a comprehensive survey of the phylum was completed. In all, 4,516 species and 339 genera had been named. They consisted of Class Conoidosida, Subclass Gregarinacina p. p. Order Eugregarinorida, with 1624 named species and 231 named genera. Subclass Coccidiacina p. p. Order Eucoccidiorida p. p. Suborder Adeliarina p. p. Group Hemogregarines, with 399 species and 4 genera. Suborder Imariorina, with 1771 species and 43 genera Class Aconoidosida Order Hemospororida, with 444 species and 9 genera Order Peroplasmorida, with 173 species and 20 genera other minor groups omitted above, with 105 species and 32 genera. Although considerable revision of this phylum has been done, the order Hemosporidia now has 17 genera rather than 9. These numbers are probably still approximately correct. Jacques Usevi, 1988. Jacques Usevi in 1988 created a new class Hemosporidiacina by merging subclass Peroplasmacina and suborder Hemosporina. 
Subclass Gregariniacina, the Gregorians. Subclass Coccidiacina. Suborder Adeliorina, the Adeliorans. Suborder Imariorina, the Imariorans. Subclass Hemosporidiacina. Order Acromatorida. Order Chromatorida division into Acromatorida and Chromatorida, although proposed on morphological grounds, may have a biological basis, as the ability to store hemozoan appears to have evolved only once. Roberts and Genovi, 1996. Roberts and Genovi in 1996 divided the phylum into the following subclasses and suborders, omitting classes and orders. Subclass Gregariniacina, the Gregorians. Subclass Coccidiacina. Suborder Adeliorina, the Adeliorans. Suborder Imariorina, the Imariorans. Suborder Hemospororina, the Hemospororans. Subclass Peroplasmacina, the Peroplasms. These form the following five taxonomic groups. The Gregorians are, in general, one host parasites of invertebrates. The Adeliorans are one host parasites of invertebrates or vertebrates, are two host parasites that alternately infect hematophagus, blood feeding, invertebrates and the blood of vertebrates. The Imariorans are a diverse group that includes one host species of invertebrates, two host species of invertebrates, one host species of vertebrates and two host species of vertebrates. The Imariorans are frequently called the Cochidea. This term is often used to include the Adeliorans. Hemospororans, often known as the malaria parasites, are two host apicomplexa that parasitize blood feeding dipteran flies and the blood of various tetrapod vertebrates. Peroplasms, where all the species included are two host parasites infecting ticks and vertebrates. Perkins, 2000. This scheme is taken from Perkins et al. It is outdated as the Perkinsidae have since been recognized as a sister group to the dinoflagellates rather than the apicomplexia. The remainder of the scheme appears to be valid. Class Aconoidosida conoid present only in the oachinid of some species order Hemospororida macrogamed and microgamete develop separately. Syzygy does not occur. Oachinid has a conoid. Sporozoites have three walls. Heterozonus alternates between vertebrate host, in which merogony occurs, and invertebrate host, in which sporogony occurs. Usually blood parasites, transmitted by blood-sucking insects. Order Peroplasmorida class Conoidosida subclass Gregarinacina order Archigregarinorida order Eugregarinorida suborder Adeliorina suborder Imariorina order Neogregarinorida subclass Coccidiacina order Agamacoccidiorida order Eucoccidiorida order Ixorhorida order Protococcidiorida class Perkinsacid order Perkinsorida family Perkinsidae named Protospiromonadida has been proposed for the common ancestor of the Gregarinomorpha and Coccidiacidae. Amorpha. References External links Brands, S.J. 2000. The Taxonomicon and Systema Natura, Website Database. Taxon, Genus Cryptosporidium. Amsterdam, The Netherlands, Universal Taxonomic Services. David Ruse's Seminar, Biology of Apicomplexin Parasites.